Right now in Snakes, it costs $30,000 to open a city-run shelter during last month's cold snap. The process homeless coordinator breaks down the bill. And members of a Northside Senior Center are frustrated with the La Crosse mayor again after he postponed a meeting about the building's future. You're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Amy DuPont. We're going to get to those stories in just a moment. But as you know, if you've stepped outside today, this wet weather continues for a second day. Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl is tracking what's in store tonight. Yeah, we're not done with this storm system yet. And boy, we've seen uh, anything and everything. As I was talking about 24 hours ago, we've seen rain. We've had some thunder and lightning in the area, some small hail, some sleet, some freezing rain, and even some plain old snow as well. Now, thankfully, temperatures rose above freezing in many spots. So uh, the icing that we had last night and early this morning that closed some schools across the area, delayed starts for others, has uh, uh, kind of diminished and roads are in better shape. But we still have some winter weather headlines extending out of the central plains and into the region. Now, some of these counties are set to expire momentarily. Uh, there they go. Uh, you speak and you shall receive, right? Uh, but don't let your guard down because we're still going to see more mixed precipitation overnight and into tomorrow. So still some uh, headlines to the north and to the west. But suffice it to say, region wide, we will be in and out of some precip all the way through Thursday morning. So mainly wet roads in La Crosse, but watch those roads closely because uh, the precipitation from earlier today is now lifted well to the north and east and even north and west of the Twin Cities. But here's the problem. The low is still down here. It's going to slowly crawl its way northeast across the area through Thursday morning. So we'll still see some additional uh, probably mixed precipitation redevelop into the area, changing over to snow showers late tonight and throughout the day on Wednesday. Now temperatures low to mid 30s. We're still at 37 in La Crosse, but the closer you get to freezing, again, watch those roads and sidewalks as that mixed precipitation redevelops, changes to snow showers late tonight. Overnight lows in La Crosse uh, right near freezing, right around 30. 33 degrees. So I just posted a, a, a detailed update on the storm system on our weather app. Again, just search for it. News 8000 first worn weather app and you can uh, scan it or download it. I should say for free. Check it out. If you haven't tried it yet, I think you'll like it. Uh, by the way, I'll be back in a few minutes with more details on still the uh, lingering effects of the storm system through Thursday. All right. Thanks, Bill. See you then. Okay. $30,000. That's how much it costs the city of La Crosse to open an emergency shelter during last month's winter storm. News 8 hours Duas Rar spoke to the city's homeless services coordinator who broke down the bill. Amy, according to Brian Sampson, the emergency overflow shelter was intended for overnight use only. When the winter storm hit, the city chose at the last minute to open the shelter around the clock for four and a half days. Severe winter weather has a heavy price tag. For the city of La Crosse, it's roughly $30,000. There's a last minute plan that was implemented. In December, La Crosse Mayor Mitch Reynolds issued an emergency declaration to open city owned buildings during severe winter weather for unsheltered people. It's no longer safe to be outside and subject to the elements. The Southside Neighborhood Center provided shelter for four and a half days at the city's expense. The two main components of the overflow plan are for security and and then for cleaning the day after. La Crosse's Homeless Service Coordinator Brian Sampson says the bill can be paid for using city funds, including American Rescue Plan Act money. Part of the emergency proclamation allows the mayor to tap into other city funds. Now, the city is also turning to the community and a local nonprofit to help pay for any future emergency decree. We're doing as much as we can as a community to take care of what really is one of our most vulnerable populations during the winter time. The La Crosse Community Foundation will collect donations for security and cleaning costs. So we will receive the donations and then once the city has proven there are expenses attached to that, we will release the funds to the city. Samson says this is only a short term solution. We need all community partners to continue working together and, and continue to develop a plan to address this long term. And will help the unsheltered get through a Wisconsin winter. The City Council will vote this Thursday on what funds to use to pay for that bill. Amy. All right, thank you, Dua. And if you're interested in donating to the Overflow Shelter Fund, we're going to post that information at news8000.com. 
Members of La Crosse's Harry J. Olson Senior Center say they are frustrated with the mayor again, this time for postponing a meeting with members of the city council. The center and Mayor Mitch Reynolds have been at odds for months over the center's proposal to buy the building from the city. Now in February, La Crosse's Board of Public Works chose to terminate the center's lease. It ended in May and the city threatened to evict members if they didn't vacate. The city's, excuse me, the center's executive director, Aaron Gogan, says the nonprofit wants to buy the building, but the mayor doesn't support the proposal. The two groups were supposed to meet today, but Mayor Reynolds, who appeared by Zoom, made a motion to postpone. It was disappointing that the mayor um, did that, I think, and it disappoints the seniors that really it's not a good day for them to be out driving, but they came out in force to show their support for Harry J. Mayor Reynolds was in Madison for the governor's inauguration. The Board of Public Works voted to reschedule for Thursday night during the finance and personnel meeting. Goggin says she and the center's members plan to attend. According to newly released documents, Senator Ron Johnson spoke to Wisconsin's GOP chairman about having the legislature rather than the voters choose Wisconsin's presidential electors. The House Select Committee released those documents. Andrew Hitt testified that Johnson spoke to him weeks before Biden assumed the presidency. In a statement today, Senator Johnson says he has no recollection of the conversation and accused the House Select Committee of attempting to smear him. It is a big day for our elected officials. Local, state, and national representatives took the oath of office today. During his second inaugural address, Governor Tony Evers outlined his plans for the new session, including increases to education funding and a tax cut for the middle class. State lawmakers will also sworn in this afternoon, and the state assembly voted to keep Robin Voss as speaker. But outside the Capitol, a group of Republicans asked the assembly to choose anyone but Voss. I mean, we may not end up with a, with a confirmed speaker today, uh, and we may. I mean, you know, Robin Voss is a very shrewd politician. He's been there too long, and he knows how to manipulate things. The Assembly did vote to keep Robin Voss speaker, and he continues to serve as the state's longest Assembly speaker now for more than a decade. The sizable margin, though, that the Republicans have in the Assembly, it's not likely we see enough members to fact put Voss's leadership in question. It also mirrors another challenge in the U.S. House, with some far-right Republicans challenging current leadership. Wisconsin's new Congressman Derek Van Orden cruised up to the U.S. Capitol for his first day of work on a Harley. The Republican defeated Democratic State Senator Brad Papp to win that seat that Democrat Ron Kine had filled for more than 20 years. Back in La Crosse, La Crosse County's new sheriff and clerk of courts also took the oath of office. Swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States. To hold the La Crosse County Sheriff position, Siegel says he's already sought advice from other sheriffs and hopes to bring what he's learned from them to his new position. Listening and always doing what's best for the community, always taking care of your deputies and your jailers and making sure that, um, that the community is cared for and that the people you work with are cared for. Siegel says his first 100 days will be filled with conversations and reflection. Siegel brings 30 years of experience to the job. In this position, he hopes to make the Sheriff's Department more visible to the community. Meantime, Tammy Pedretti also raised her right hand to be sworn in as La Crosse County's new Clerk of Courts. It is a very proud moment for me, though. I've been um, working for this position for quite a while, and I'm very excited to be able to say that I'm now the Clerk of Court for La Crosse County. Pedretti has 25 years of court system experience. She says being clerk will be a new challenge. She wants to get her office back up to full staff and running smoothly. Still ahead, the Holman High School Marching Band is bringing home some serious hardware. The awards they won at a bowl game in Tampa over the weekend, up next. Chart your career with a welding position at Chart Industries. Do you have a year or more of welding experience? Would you like to make more than $25 an hour? We have the job for you. Apply today at jobs.chartindustries.com. Look, it's easy to say things. Anyone can do that. Look closer. Meaning what you say, that's a little harder and a little harder to find. But at U.S. Cellular, when we say you get unlimited data for $29.99 per line, we don't mean only if you get four lines. We mean $29.99 per line, even one. Plus, every plan is price protected for every customer. I've practiced personal injury law for four years. For 20 years. For 32 years. But I won't write your will. 
I don't write contracts. And I don't handle divorces. The law profession is broad and complex. I focus my career on one thing. Helping injured people. All I do every day is help injured people get the compensation that they deserve. But by Goff and Rody, that's how we get results. We all know how weather goes around here. So why not take the first warn team with you? Stay weather aware with hourly temps and conditions, video forecasts, and interactive radar. And the best part? It's easy to use. Here, try it. You can count on the reliability of the First Alert weather app the same way you count on Cordell's Automotive with the reliability of your vehicle. With Cordell's Automotive and the News 8 team, you'll know you're safe. Chart your career with a fabricator position at Chart Industries. Excellent training program to ensure your advancement. Starting wages are over $20 an hour. Apply today at jobs.chartindustries.com. The Holman High School Band is headed back to Wisconsin with some hardware. Best percussion and best auxiliary and best drum major and best music and best marching and best general effect goes to Holman High School. The Marching Vikings took all of those awards at the Reliquest Bowl Festival Parade Competition in Florida. Band members also took part in a halftime show with more than 1,300 performers. The Holman Band typically travels every three years, and they are expected to arrive back in Holman with their trophies tonight. Congratulations. Wisconsin has a surprising connection to this year's NBA MVP award. We're going to take you to Milwaukee, where sculptors are putting together five Michael Jordan trophies for basketball's best. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. Radar is pretty quiet right now, but we are not done with this messy storm system just yet. I'll explain with my eight-day forecast up next. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Happy birthday to us. We are 100 years old and still looking good. All month to take 23% off all furniture and 12 months to pay interest free. Tell them Peyton sent you. Hey, you want to join our rewards program? Collect hot dog points to unlock access to our VIP lounge. That doesn't seem very... Rewarding. With a BMO Savings Builder account, you get a cash reward for every month you save. Wait, so you're going to reward me for saving my own money? You got it. A little incentive to help you get into the habit of saving. That sounds great, but do you have VIPs? Yeah, absolutely. We call them customers. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. Need to update your furniture? Menards has the furniture you need in stock. Plus, you get a free rug. That's right, buy any upholstered living room furniture at $2.99 or more and get a free 5x7 area rug. That's $149.99 in savings. Need a new chair? How about a sectional, a new recliner, or love seat? Buy one today, get a free rug. Hurry up, get to Menards before they're gone. In store only while supplies last. Save big money at Menards. What fireplace have you always envisioned in your home? Let La Crosse Fireplace Company turn your empty space into something beautiful. We'll design more than just your heat and glow fireplace. We'll help you pick out the perfect stone, mantle, and hearth, making your heat and glow fireplace the vision you've always dreamed of. Isn't it time you've got the space you've always wanted? Visit our showroom or call La Crosse Fireplace Company to get started. La Crosse Fireplace Company, because your place is by the fire. Wisconsin. It's easy to take for granted how we warm up, but what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. 
Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Happy birthday to us. We're 100 years old and still looking good. All month, buy a dishwasher or microwave and get the install for $23, plus 12 months interest free. Tell them Peyton sent you. Welcome back. Another week, another slow moving storm system with uh, several phases. We've already seen about 24 hours of precipitation uh, kind of off and on across the region. Now, last night in the cross, we saw some sleet, some light. Uh, very light snow and then some freezing rain in many spots. In fact, upwards of a quarter inch of freezing rain in many areas. And boy, that does a number on those roads and sidewalks. That's why there were so many school delays and closings uh, this morning. 37 was the high, so that was good news because it helped get rid of the icing on many of the surfaces. And we also had rain falling on that ice, which helps as well. 31 degrees the low, 28 and 12 are the averages. And look at how much liquid we've seen from this storm already. Uh, almost eight tenths and just three tenths of an inch of snow. So it's definitely been more wet than white so far here in the cross with that ice thrown in as well. 37 degrees out at the airport, 36 downtown, winds are calm. Uh, Eau Claire, good evening to you. You're at 34 degrees, uh, shine on the roads, uh, mainly wet, but watch for some slick spots as well. Feels like 25 with an east and northeast breeze at about 11 miles per hour. The problem spots on the roads, mainly around Eau Claire up towards Rice Lake and then to the west, Twin Cities down towards Mankato, uh, either slippery stretches or snow and ice covered in spots, and then travel not advised west of the Twin Cities where they've seen uh, lots of snow. Now green elsewhere indicating the roads in decent shape, but uh, the minute that precip starts back up, things could change very quickly. So just keep that in mind. Look at the difference in this front. 59 in Springfield, 64 in St. Louis, and then teens, 20s, and 30s behind the front. We're on the cold side of things, relatively speaking. Uh, currently between 33 and 37 degrees. Winds generally from the east at about 5 to 15 miles per hour, so some slight wind chills in the 20s. Now, earlier today we had rain, even some thunder, and some small hail move through. That is now well to the north and east, and then the lighter snow showers around the Twin Cities. Here's the problem, though. The surface low is right about here, just north and west of Des Moines, and it's just going to crawl its way north and east across the area. So another chance of a mix overnight, changing to snow showers, and then periodic snow showers tomorrow, even lingering into Thursday morning. So dry currently for the most part, but notice how Sky Tracker starts to lighten up again, uh, light up again, I should say, with rain and snow showers or a mix, and then a change over to snow showers as that low slowly kind of counterclock Likewise, spins its way across the area, so we'll be in and out of snow showers throughout the day tomorrow, tomorrow night, even into Thursday morning before things finally start to taper and shift off to the east. Now, uh, winter weather alerts continue to our north and west. Uh, winter weather advisories for the Eau Claire area over towards Wausau and the Twin Cities. And here's the breakdown. Uh, that's until tomorrow evening. Mixed to snow showers tonight. Scattered snow showers uh, during Wednesday into Thursday morning. Uh, could see two to four, maybe five inches additional snow uh, up around Eau Claire and north of there. And then much lighter totals around La Crosse and points south. Maybe some minimal icing. Here's the breakdown. Down. Again, light snow down to the south and east, maybe half an inch to an inch, two inches tops in La Crosse area. Elevation could come into play as well. And then the most two to five inches plus uh, to the north and west. And again, that's additional snow in terms of what's already fallen, although it's mainly been wet rather than white locally. And some minor icing, again, possible, especially on those ridge tops and across the higher terrain, much like we saw last night and this morning. So for tonight, clouds and fog mixed to snow showers. Again, alert night, if you will, due to travel impacts. We drop to near freezing in La Crosse, 33, and don't move much tomorrow, 34. Scattered snow showers, maybe a mix in spots. And we'll keep that alert day going through tomorrow night due to travel impacts. Finally get rid of the snow showers Thursday morning, 33. Dry but chillier, but fairly seasonable Friday through the weekend, mid to upper 20s for highs. And staying mainly dry right through the middle of next week. Highs back in the lower to middle 30s. But uh, boy, these mixed bag precipitation mm -hmm. uh, storms, fun to forecast, fun to deal with. Fun? That's, well, a, that's a nice... See all uh, the gray hair? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, gray hair? Bill, you're like 23. How could that 29, be? 29, 29. 29. You're close. Okay, yeah. yeah, you're just a few years behind yeah. me. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> A new piece of NBA history has a connection to Wisconsin. Reporter Frank Healy got an up-close look at how the Michael Jordan Trophy for the MVP award is made. This is the Michael Jordan Most Valuable Player Award. Mike Nolte, the foreman at Vanguard Sculpture Services, along with his team, have been bringing artists' work to life for four decades. They're notable for work like the bronze fonts. Nolte says this award, designed by Jordan brand designer Mark Smith, came to them as a 3D printed model of the original sculpture. 
Smith says the figure isn't supposed to be Jordan himself, so whoever wins the trophy can see themselves in the figure. But Nolte says Smith told him it does have some of Jordan's character. The sculpture is split into smaller parts. An intentional defect to prevent unintentional metal casting defects. A wax version is cast, then another mold is made. I would take the wax and dip the wax into the liquid pottery. That cast is fired and liquid bronze is poured in, burning away the wax. It's the art moment, the uncontrollable art moment when the metal changes from a liquid into a solid. <laughs> the pieces are welded back together and imperfections are shaved down. There's always some kind of metal casting defect that has to be repaired. Nolte says they're making five of these trophies. The ones you see here awaiting the final finish. Part of the process Nolte says the sculptor will be present for. Nolte says if one of the Bucks, perhaps Giannis, wins one of these trophies. If my hometown basketball team wins the award and it comes back to Milwaukee, that would be really special. I'd like that a lot. Nolte says one day he'd like to make a life-size version. But for now, he and the crew at Vanguard Sculpture say they already feel like they've won. The MVP award requires someone who on a team to fully participate in that team. So that's what we try to do here. Now you know, made in Milwaukee. Well, back here, the Red Cross wants to send you to a different sport, the Super Bowl. If you donate blood or platelets between now and January 31st, the Red Cross will enter your name into a contest to win a trip for two to the Super Bowl in Arizona. That trip this February includes access to the stadium pregame activities, tickets to the Super Bowl experience, airfare, and three-night hotel accommodations. If you want to find an appointment, just go to redcrossblood.org. Coming up in sports, some great nominees for our News 8 Now Play of the Week. Plus, the NFL community still in shock after last night's tragic scene in Cincinnati. And now players are sharing their thoughts on what took place. Rob's in next with sports. Continual growth brings new opportunities at the Board Store Home Improvements. Now hiring carpenters, window and door installers, floor or tile installers. Apply today. Become a better you with the help and support of the Y. Join us for Interval Zone, a high intensity interval class to give you a total body workout. Try small group training and work out with a few friends. You can be stronger and living better through the help of the Y. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, farm is in our name, so you know we're animal experts, offering genuine value on the quality products you need to care for your animals because healthy pets are happy pets. Right now, get $2 off all Blaine's Farm and Fleet dog and cat food. Select dog and cat health supplements are 20% off and save 50% or more on these special buy pet beds. Plus, get Blaine's best price promise, the guaranteed lowest price, or we'll match it. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Get up to 80% off list prices during our huge inventory reduction sale at Slumberland Furniture. $20 million worth of furniture and mattresses must go. Lowest prices around on TV consoles, recliners, bar stools, sofas, mattresses and lots more get the deal of a lifetime on clearance one of a kind scratch and dents and more stores are packed with merchandise that must go up to 80 percent off at the huge inventory reduction sale on now at slumberland furniture are you an experienced carpenter window and door installer flooring or tile installer considering a new opportunity in the year ahead the board store is the area's premier home improvement contractor serving the community from the same location for over 33 years continued growth opens new opportunities good pay good benefits and respect no weekends or overnight travel begin a new career where skill matters and character is valued apply online or at the board store home improvements 524 copeland avenue lacrosse Become a better you with the help and support of the Y. Whether you're training for a 5K, looking to gain strength or lose weight, we are here to help. You can be stronger and living better through the help of the Y. Stop by the Y today or visit our website to learn more. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports. Still hard to believe that with just one game left in the NFL season, the Packers have climbed all the way back from a 4-8 and eight hole. They now have to control their own destiny Sunday night at home when they take on Detroit. For Green Bay, it's simple. Win and get in. But after a tragic and chilling scene Monday night in Cincinnati, it's going to be hard for these players to focus on anything related to football. The NFL community, players, coaches, fans all across the country at somewhat of a standstill on Tuesday 
as everyone awaits some semblance of good news when it comes to Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin. 24-year-old collapsing in the first quarter of last night's game between the Bills and Bengals in Cincinnati. CPR was administered for roughly nine minutes before Hamlin was taken by ambulance to a nearby hospital where he remains in critical condition. The game was eventually postponed and a day later players and coaches from around the league are still trying to process it all. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers expressing his emotions Tuesday on the Pat McAfee show. Just putting myself in their shoes to watch somebody you love on the ground, CPR, I mean, that's when it gets real. Like, they're fighting to save this guy's life, not in the locker room or at the hotel or at the, in the hospital, like on the field. Yeah. I can't even imagine what that would be like to go through. So, really tough night. I mean, I was shook up. You know, still, uh, still am uh, feeling weird about it. NFL announcing Tuesday that last night's Bills-Bengals game will not be resumed this week. There's still no word from the league whether the game will be made up this season. All right, tough transition here. We're going to try and move on and put the shine on some of our high school stars in our Tuesday tradition of Play of the Week. Let's take a look at the nominees. Number one, a lot of holiday tournaments last week. Check out this play from GET's Mason Brown getting the save right on the money to Cody Schmitz. First one doesn't go, second one does. What a save by Brown. Number two, same tournament. Aquinas getting it done last week at home. Walter Burns providing the power, getting the fans out of their seats. Not one, but two monster slams as the Blue Golds take down GET. To the mat we go. The Bi-State Classic was one to remember. Logan's Cole Fitzpatrick giving it his all in night one of the quarterfinals. Fitzpatrick surviving an all-out war. Unfortunately, he could not compete Friday because of an injury, but what an incredible effort on Thursday. And finally on Friday, it was Aquinas' Calvin Hargrove going all the way. The blue gold bringing home the gold at 170. He takes down Marshfield's Owen Greaseback, 13-6 to capture the 170-pound title. Some great plays this week to vote for your favorite. Just go to news8000.com slash vote. We'll have the results at 10. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back. Bring in the new year with Home Furniture's New Year Sale. Get 10% off sale prices plus no money down, six-year special financing, and free shipping when you spend $4.99. The New Year Sale, going on now, only at Home Furniture. Being there every minute of every day. As your community electric cooperative, it's not just our way of doing business. It's our way of life. And as a Touchstone Energy Cooperative member, that means value that goes far beyond the energy we provide. Value you can't really put a price on. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. Ram Tough is perfect for us at Pishke Motors. We've got some pretty tough customers. Get in on the big finish of 2022 with Pishke and Ram. Now through January 3rd, a new Ram Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 comes with up to $8,000 off with discount and rebates. Plus, get great financing with no payments for 90 days. Stop by in West Salem or La Crosse and test drive one today. Ram and Pishke Motors, getting the job done. Now at Home Sleep Express, get six-year special financing on any Tempur-Pedic mattress with no money down and no minimum purchase, plus a $300 shopping card with free delivery, setup, and a 120-night guarantee. Six-year special financing on Tempur-Pedic at Home Sleep Express. Keep an eye on those roads. A mix to snow showers tonight and periodic snow showers for our Wednesday. Thanks, Bell. We'll see you at 10.